France stands proud and powerful. Notions of courtly love have ushered in an era of nobility and chivalry. The legacy of Charlemagne still resonates with noble and commoner alike. Europe is a continent divided by mistrust and centuries of violence. As crusades carve a bloody swathe in the distant east, the ideals of chivalry and honor are tested time and again. of war, much is sacrificed. Countless lives are lost to battle and honor so that a kingdom can prosper. What's up guys, General Incompetence here and welcome to episode 1 of this France Let's Play on Medieval 2 Total War Vanilla Beyond. Um, and I should explain I'm using the Vin Vanilla Beyond mod, um, which as you can see is an absolutely huge map. Adds in a couple of factions, there's a heraldry system. It's basically, if you enjoy the base game and you don't want to use something like uh, Stainless Steel or um, the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement mod, this is the one you go for. I either use this or I use um, JLMP's Vanilla Kingdoms. And I've decided that I'm going to play as France for you all because this is the faction I kind of fell in love with as a, as a kid. Um, as always, my first ever faction was England because, you know, being English and all that, you know. But I actually probably spent the, my most amount of time playing as France or as the Holy Roman Emperor. Um, but I just, yeah, I've not played as them in so long. And I thought this would be a little kind of project of passion um, in the best way possible. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to restore the glory of Charlemagne's dominion. We are going to unite France. We're going to destroy the English um, and then move on to the Holy Roman Empire. Or maybe, yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But we're definitely going to destroy the English and the Holy Roman Empire. That's definitely going to happen. Um... And we're going to be expanding God's quickly. So, God's name. Um, as I mentioned, number one priority in the early game is to unite what we now know as modern France. So we are going to have to move quickly to do that. Um, now, I mentioned about a heraldy system. Basically, for those of you that haven't played this mod before, what that means is if uh, you have a general, for example, this guy, uh, in a settlement... After one turn of him being in that settlement, so if I end the turn now, he will gain a trait um, that is related to that settlement. Now he can, and he will get that as a retinue, and you can only get it for one settlement. So, for example, this guy will get something to do with um, Angers. If I'm pronouncing anything wrong, then sorry. This guy will get something for Reims, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so, what it means is that basically for the first turn, I am going to have to leave my generals in their original settlements to get those traits because they all add in multiple points to things like loyalty, you know, authority, command, or farming, or whatever it is. So, all the settlements I'm going to besiege initially are going to be done so with captains. And then, for example, next turn, I'll move Prince Louis over here to be taking Bordeaux. Um, we want to go this way. Now, I am very aware that, for example, some of the local forces are better than mine. But I have a plan for that. And that plan mostly revolves around waiting them out and making, like, whittling down their forces and making them attack me. It's the only way I can kind of figure to be able to get so many settlements so quickly um, without letting Milan get some or, you know, the English get some. 
Bruges and Antwerp, they're going to have to wait. Um, we're going to have to figure those out separately. That I mean, they're not even part of modern day France, but it would be nice to be having like one continuous buffer against the Holy Roman Empire. That's the long term aim, anyway. Um, right, Dijon, we want. So you go in there. Uh, so they've got one unit of mailed knights. One peasant militia and two peasant archers. I think that's identical to us. Except we've got one peasant archers and two spear militia, so we'll easily win that. Mets, we want that as well. Moving to engage the enemy. Now, um, it's interesting. So with some mods like JLMP's Vanilla Kingdoms, you can start um, later on in like the kind of mid to late 13th century this really starts us at the tail end of the 11th century so all the troops we can get at the moment are fairly crap but they're at the same time I, I think the stats for some of these units are better than in the base game um which i quite like but as you will be about to see we can get some pretty decent stuff um especially our dismounted noble knights as you can see 19716 they are absolutely beastie. One also key part of this game, especially for the French faction, are these buildings here. And I'll show you those in a second. So, as you all know, um, when you're playing as like France or England, um, one of the things you can get is you can either get the Knights Templar or the Hospitaller Knights. They can put a chapter house in. Um, you know, it gives you the option to take them. And, for example, if you have the Templar's headquarters, you get... Templar Knights, which are good. Templar Conferer Knights, which are eh, okay. And Marshal of the Templars, which are also very good. So that's all hunky-dory. However, if you do get... if, For example, if you decide to accept, yes, I want to have a Templars Minor Chapter House, it opens up these buildings. And these effectively allow you to recruit Templar troops that you would normally get from the... Um, if you're playing as, for example, the Kingdom of Jerusalem or what have you in the Crusaders expansion. So, I mean, Templar Sergeants are good. Templar Crossbows are very good. Six attack, 15 missile attack. And also Dismounted Templar Knights, which are, again, I believe, just a little bit better than Dismounted Feudal Knights. That's 13, 318. Let's have a look at our barracks. Uh, 13, 318 is actually better than Dismounted Chivalric Knights. Which is like end game stuff for us. So I thought that was a really interesting mechanic to add in as well. And one of the other great things is that there are a lot of like um, specialist buildings for specialist cities. So for example, if you're London, you can build St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, the Tower of David, the Order of St. Lazarus. There's a lot of things in there that give this game a lot, uh, and especially this mod, a lot of depth, which I really like and appreciate. Um, I have not played this mod nearly as much as other mods, but so far, I've loved it. So, no complaints whatsoever from me. Now, up here is Leon. Now, now that we have moved all the troops towards the key rebel settlements we're going after initially, we will need burn. I don't want the melee needs to take it. We'll get onto that. We can look at our economy. Um, so. Let's up the tax there. My policy personally is high tax. Um, that's just the direction I like to go in. I know some people are like, oh, don't do high tax. You know, you want population go blow it. No, I want the money and I want it now. Especially in mods like this with difficulties like I'm playing on, you need cash or you're going to really struggle. What I'd also say is um, I think it's quite important in the early game we're in castles to rush to get at least garrison quarters, if not drill squares, because there's a big difference between your spear militia, which are like 7, 3, 12 or whatever, to armoured sergeants who are 11, 5, 17. And you also get dismounted mailed knights, which I think is nice to be added in because normally in the base game, you get mounted mailed knights, you get feudal knights and what have you. But in terms of troops, your first sword unit realistically is dismounted feudal, feudal knights. Whereas this adds in a layer, it adds in dismounted mailed knights. And the main difference between dismounted mailed knights and dismounted feudal knights 
is the attack. So this is 9315. And then if we go to barracks and we look at dismounted feudal knights, it's 11317. So it gives you plus two to attack, plus two to defense. But I do think to get an advantage over rebel settlements and early game onto other factions, it's a good idea to try and rush some of those garrison units so we can win in battle, so we can expand, because that's how our initial expansion is going to go. Um, and the initial like, economic expansion, it's going to be through the military, realistically. Um, right, so Paris. We also need to keep a sharp eye on religion, because um, that's reminded me. So the Jewish, uh, getting the Jewish community, it doesn't show it in this um, thing here. But for example, in JLMP's van uh, Vanilla Kingdoms, the downside of getting Jewish ghettos and what have you is that it just has a straight up like minus 10% to public order. It doesn't have this for the Jewish community in this mod, but what it doesn't show you is that if you get the Jewish community, it will start to convert the uh, population to Judaism, which brings with it a religious unrest issue. So that's certainly something that you want to always be aware of. Um, and if we look at, for example, Reims, we've got 15% religious unrest, which is a problem. And it's a reason why we're not going to be able to do much more than just high tax. So the first thing we're going to put in is a church. Um, I think we've actually done buildings in almost everywhere that we can. What is the issue over here? Once again, religious unrest. So the first thing we're going to put in is going to be a church. Uh, another thing that I'm thinking about doing early game is getting some ships and getting together like the best like uh, getting together a diplomat at least one merchant putting them on a ship and shipping them over to the holy lands and trying to take advantage of some of the lucrative trade over here get more trade agreements sell our map information all that kind of good stuff now your majesty constance you're pretty good you're 19 years old apparently you're a head turner great let's just go and talk to the english Wait. first up would you have we could get robert but we've got better plans for you Okay, that's generous, so let's get a bit of money. 400. Still generous. I just want to make sure I succeed first up. It's good to good. see you have another worthy person, um, then. Let's sell Excellent. our map info. Seems like good. a most reasonable deal to me. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Okay, unfortunately she didn't get any better, but that's okay. Now, as always, we're gonna head down to the Papal States. We're gonna go to Rome and buddy up with the Pope. Um, in terms of Crusades, naturally we're not going to do anything yet, we're busy. Um, but what you will notice again versus JLMP's Vanilla Kingdoms is that because that campaign most of the time starts in the year 1280, you already have the Principality of Antioch and the Kingdom of Jerusalem. In this game, rebels are just known as the Free Cities. So for example, Antioch, I believe Jerusalem as well, they're all owned by the Free Cities. But the Muslim factions have been expanded, so, and they're a bit more detailed. So you've got the Caliphate of Baghdad, you have got the Emirate of Damascus, and uh, don't even ask me to pronounce that because I can't, but that's there as well. And it's going to be a very long time before we ever get over there if we manage to make it that long. So, uh, I think we are ready to probably end the first turn. There is the Holy Roman Empire. I think I am going to get, yes, both of these instead of... I could get Spear Militia. Maybe I should get Spear Militia straight up. Um, mm -mm. Am I going to need it there? No. Am I going to need it there? No. Might need it over here. Maybe. You know what? I think with a general, with... Guillermo? Is that how it's... Guillermo? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how I pronounce that. We're going to call him Gilly for the moment. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a diplomat and for a merchant, just so I can start Softly, that ball rolling. And let's move down here. Softly, Got some new exotics to let's get going. Let's get down to business. And if you are new to the channel, please stick around. Um, I love Total War games, not Pharaoh, because everyone hates Pharaoh because it's shit. Um, but yeah, all of the Let's Plays I do are to do with um, Total War historical games. Most of them old ones, um, just because that's what I like. 
Uh, benefactor of Prince Louis, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably going to give him feels unappreciated, but whatever. Um, we need to take Leon. Good, we're already on our way to do that. Moving to engage the enemy. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I love historical Total War games. It's my jam. If that's what you like, then please subscribe. Um, leave me a comment in the comment section down below just to, if you've got any tactical suggestions as a sacrifice to the gods of the YouTube algorithm or just like how I can make my videos better because you can see like we're currently on our way to 2,000 subscribers. That's what we're aiming for at the moment. Please be part of the journey and come along for the ride. We would love to have you on board. Um, this guy is pretty good. He, we're going to move him down to Toulouse. Diplomat, um, we're going to send you over this way. And we're going to get another diplomat to send over to the east. And I think... See, look, this is the heraldic system I was talking about. So, King Philip has stayed in Paris. He is now the Count of Paris. Um, so, he gets plus 10 tax income bonus, 5% build cost reduction, and 5% trading bonus income. So, if we go to faction announcements, this is it. So, the Count of Anjou... The Count of Provenance, Count of Champagne, Count of Toulouse, Count of Paris, and Count of France. And look at that. The Crown of France, plus two to authority, one to attack, one to morale, two to chivalry. So that is the benefits of the heraldy system. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, what should we do here? Reims. Ah. Good. Let's improve that. And dirt roads. Hmm. Yeah, let's put in the garrison quarters. We will focus more on the economy later. But as I mentioned, we just need some good troops at the moment. Marseille. We're just going to upgrade you full stop. And we're going to put in that. We're going to wait for you to expand. I don't want that as a castle. New mission. We're going to get 5,000 for taking Leon, which is good news because we're already on it. We're going to lower the tax. And you, my friend. Ready and able. You are coming out. We combining forces good. Ensure victory, Seigneur. Okay, that means we can use you to attack Bordeaux. Joining into a powerful force of troops. Where shall we strike? Forming into a more powerful force. Ready and able. There we go. Love it. Now, hopefully, we'll just get another general in Paris at some point, and we can put that into Dijon. Uh, not that we need it. It's just better. And one of the things I would say for this mod is having troops out traveling on their own without a general they are susceptible to being bribed which is super annoying um and we definitely don't want that to happen so, so definitely something to be aware of now we have already spent quite a bit of cash but it's only a couple of turns now until we can get both Metz, Rennes and Dijon and then the turn after that we'll have Lyon and the turn after that Bordeaux um, I just find that attacking walls and what have you, just it's just needless death of our own troops. We don't desperately need them now. No other faction is going to get these settlements. It's better that we just wait, do some other things for the time being, Master. and be patient, France. and it will all come together. A royal Softly, all right, let's have a look. What's going on in northern Italy? Scouting the area. And I think we're ready to end the turn. I want to rush you through these turns early on relatively quickly because I want to get these battles in the first episode. What up, Milan? What do you want? We come bearing word. Because I've got constants going this way anyway, we can gamble a little bit. No, we want to demand money. And let's go 600. No, we will not accept. That means that we won't get 500, which is annoying. But let's try it anyway. We cannot quite accept this. Mm. Never mind. Or 
This appears cool. acceptable enough to agree. Um, yeah, that's Until fine. Until next time. Constance can sell our map info to them. Milan, you're going to be sorely disappointed when you've got nowhere to go. In fact, actually, I will be doing some recruitment in Paris, I've decided, because we need an army to take the burn. Um, okay. Chosen one. I like that. I wonder if we leave him in there, if he will get any, like, religious traits, um, like, just like the Herald system. I might leave him in there to find out. Oh, my God. This guy's... Bonus on prime. Okay, so we can make you better, but you are not ideal. Um, mm, I don't really want to send you over to the Holy Land because you're so crap. But I mean, you're not that much better. Alright, it is what it is. And we are where we are. Okay. Reams. Um, thing is, we're putting in a brothel. I think I don't know if that makes um, whoever's there susceptible to like drunken traits. Uh, what we are going to do is get a priest, and we will put in the brothel. Why not keep the population happy? And Paris. Yeah, we are recruiting. We're going to save the cash for the moment. We still don't have another general here, which is a little bit annoying. Ready and able. I mean, I could take Bill out, but we lose we lose some money. Mm. Two turns, two turns. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's start by speaking to Venice, and then we'll think about that in a bit. Um, it's balanced, so we won't ask for any money. Another suggestion from your leader for us. How about that? Good. Um, do we want to be allied? Probably not, because we will attack you at some point. Um, might be nice to have you as an ally against Milan, though, because we're probably going to go to war with Milan first and the Holy Roman Empire. What else would you suggest? Yeah, sure, let's do it. 500 coins. It seems awesome. We have reached goodbye. It has ah, been a pleasure. Good. Delicate diplomat. Well on love. Good stuff. Très bien. On behalf of France. Stepping here. Okay. King Ready Philip. Unable. Get back in there. We need those two we need that two hundred gold. God Etienne. If uh, you suddenly see the cursor zoom off to one side or whatever, it's because I actually have like a 36 inch ultra wide curve monitor and I'm having to turn down the resolution so it looks better when I'm recording and it just suddenly means that accidentally you know I've still got several inches of screen when I'm right at the edge here so it yeah it's just a little bit more sensitive okay what can I spy on that's low hanging fruit that my spies are going to die let's try you Madame needs a rest. okay you didn't get any better but still on my way Okay, I think we are ready to end the turn. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Um, yes, there is something to discuss. I want trade rights. Uh, I will trade map info with you. How about that? I accept this extortion. This meeting was disappointing. Yeah, whatever. Right, we'll now send him towards the Danish and the Norwegians. And then head towards like, the Polish area. An honor, senor. Oh. Oui, at once. Oui, senor. Oh, both are there. That's convenient. Okay, we have a priest. Are you any good? No. But we shall go for it anyway. No, you didn't get anything. Head over there. Right, you guys are still complaining. Uh, let's put in a grain exchange. 
Hmm. Let's go for that. To lose. Also, you can have a leather tatter. Okay, things are a little bit close with the economy. But not awful. And now we can get dismounted mailed knights when we need them. We're going to add in another ship. And we are one turn away from getting three settlements. Again, annoying that we haven't got another general yet. I'd have thought there'd be an opportunity for adoption, just like there was in Toulouse, but apparently not. I mean, we should win here. He says. Um, it's close. Orders. Let's give you that and then get one unit of dismounted mailed knights. Given that they're being whittled down, we have a general. We've got three units of infantry. They're going to have to come towards us. We'll take out their mailed knights, I should think, quite quickly. Um, especially if they charge straight into us, uh, Sergeant Spearman. And we do have Sergeant Spearman, not Spear Militia. So that unit probably wasn't needed, but I've done it now, so whatever. Okay, I think we are ready. Your Majesty. To firstly move Someone towards charm, Rome. This needs but I think we're ready for our first battles. So we've got Rennes, Dijon, and Metz. Let's go. Let's make this happen. Ooh, Spain. What's up, guys? Oh, there's Pope Gregory. Right, Metz is first. Let's go. Raise the Oriflam. Okay, let's see what they got. We've got better troops. We've got um, same archers, but more. Cavalry is fine. This is going to be good. So what we need to... Normally, I chase down all troops, just numb them up. Uh, people that have watched my campaigns before will know that. But in these, I just want to get them done quickly. Um, like, I like to get as much experience as possible. But, you know, we also don't want to take unnecessary losses. All right, line up. Like this. Archers. There. General. All right, archers, showtime. Also, what you can see in this mod is there are some, like, aesthetic overhauls. Like, I think the colors in this mod look really nice and sharp. Um, I'm a big fan of the, uh, of what they've done to the colors. And just improved. Like, I mean, look, this game is, what, fifth, more than 15 years old? Um, if it was released in 2006, it's now 2024. So it's, you know, getting towards, you know, 18 years old. Um, and I still think it ho relatively well holds up. Um, and personally, I can't wait for Medieval 3 when it eventually gets announced. Um, I think that's going to be absolutely awesome. Peasant Militia, we could just charge straight into them and crush them. Let's do that. Just wait for my general to die immediately. Oh, I love Medieval 2 Cavalry Chargers. They are so awesome. Look at those numbers drop. Love your work. Oh, yeah. And now pull back. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, just taking out their mailed knights with peasant archers. Love that. Oh, right. Let's just wait and see what happens here. Okay, this is good. This is good for us. We're getting a rear charge here. Lance is down, if you please. This will immediately break him. Bosh! The battle is very much in our favor. 
If we only half the enemy force remain. Love your work, gentlemen. Enemy general dead. Our cowardly foe. Um, we will briefly, we very briefly, chase down what we can. We just don't want them to get back to the center. Killing some, killing some, killing some. That'll do. And he did gain a Chevron of experience. Gotta love that. All of Christendom will be awed nice. by our victory here today. And we got some. Uh, we barely lost any men, but we got some casualties healed. Nice. Peasant archers did well as well. Shame they didn't get experience for it, but kind of everything. We are triumphant. Okay, Glory first place done. Next. A glorious conquest. Friends. Or Ren, however you say it. Let's go. Okay, this one I think is going to be a little bit closer. Um, because crossbowmen, they're, they're pretty good. Peasant archers are not. But I'm confident. Let's go, Gilly. We have the dogs now. Attack! Okay. Similar setup. Like that. Um, for those wondering what I'm doing on the keyboard, I'm pressing G for group and then shift one, which puts them in this line here. So you can actually still have them in a group, but like do custom, um, like drawing it like this, how you want them to be, rather than them being locked which I find rather beneficial. Right, we want to move this... Uh, well, we did want to move it forward, but a bit late now. We'll have to go around the back and take out their cavalry. Oh, they're not charging. Okay. Let's move forward a little bit. We can't let ourselves get absolutely annihilated by the crossbows too much because as you can see they're pretty deadly this also means that my archers will be able to shoot at a better angle mm, that's annoying we're just going to make these guys run around for a bit and take out their mailed knights. Good, they're flinging ground. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. We're actually doing some bit of damage to their crossbowmen, which is good to see. All of this is going well. Now I could recharge this or take out the crossbows. I think I might recharge. Mailed knights are being absolutely spanked oh shit I mean no 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 our men have slain the enemy general the crossbowmen are going for my general if we remain true and their armor piercing will be ours go on take him out charge the enemy flees the battle awesome good run down those worthless peasants We've got a bit more time to clear some of these guys up before that. Actually, no, the cavalry is going to get back fairly quickly. Let's do what we can. Gain what experience we can. In fact, I might be tempted just to kill them all because we can. There's only five of those knights. We'll kill them no problem. So for this one, we are going to kill everyone. The fire sale. Everything must go. Oh yeah. Oh look at it. Look at the slaughter. It's beautiful. And look at that experience. The Count of Anjou is painting this town red. Oh my goodness, he's already at a silver chevron. Oh, it's, it's a thing of beauty. Munch, munch, munch. Nom, 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 nom. Good. Okay. 
Okay, let's speed this up. I'll let this spearman do this. I mean, you guys, are, you're fucked. That is the official diagnosis of your situation. You're about to have some French spears poked up your own, own oriflams. <laughs> oh. Um, guys. Stop dying and kill them. Um, guys. Kill them, please. Thank you. And that one. I feel like he might die. Oh, there we go. Happy days. All of Christendom will be awed by our victory here today. Hazar and hurrah. Okay, that's two out of two. That one went very well. Look at that. Beautiful. We got some heals, which is nice. Nothing can stand in our way. Thank you, Dijon. We you're next. Now we forces. don't have a general for this ours. one, but we do have some mailed knights. I mean, this should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. We got two spear militia. We've got more mailed knights than they do. Yeah, we'll be all right. For France, mes amis. Now, unfortunately, because this is a settlement battle, I don't believe that we can get a man of the hour, which is a shame. But never mind. Await my orders. Don't know why I said that. Okay. Archers. Here. Ali. Right, we might just let them shit their pants to begin with. We don't want to get too close to the towers, but let's move forward a little bit. Because we also don't want to allow let ourselves get shredded by their archers. And I don't want to go charging Actually, they've only got peasant militia. Hmm. Alright, go on. Oh, I'm accidentally still on plus two. I mean, yeah. We got this. Hopefully we can get this little battle done very quickly. Oh, yeah. We need to kill the their... Very much in our favor. If we remain true and Come on. Steadfast, we need to kill their Meld Knights the ASAP so we can get into their peasant archers. Because they're being rather annoying. Come on. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on. Wavering. The numbers are dropping nicely now. Come on, come on, come on. God, this is... The enemy general flees like the coward is. Good. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Come on. All right, knights. Let's see what you're made of. In you go. Lance is down, please. We need this to be a good one. Bosh. Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Cowardly foe runs. Let's go. Battle is won. Again, let's see what we can do. Oh, archers, don't kill our own men. Oh, look. Come on, we can get them at the gates. Um, what are you doing? Kill him. Hey, I thought I told you to stop. Idiots. Come on. Munch him up. Oh, now the gates are firing at us. Oh, this is a... This is 
all a bit messy. Can we exit the battle? This is yeah, we can. Heroic, which only belongs bit messier, but plus two experience for the mailed knights. That's always good. Happy days. Three out of three. The plan worked. Prince Louis. Nice haircut. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Okay, this guy is useful. Oh, of course, it's only now he goes to Paris and I have a general that I could have done with last turn. Never mind. Let's put up a watchtower here. And move you to Dijon because you can get, um, like a trait. Okay. Hopefully, we're going to start eating away into that religious unrest. Um, now... What to do, what to do, what to do. We have a bit of money. Let's upgrade you to a castle. Do I want to waste my time doing that when I could be recruiting some good shit? Mm, unsure. What's... Okay, religion is fine here, actually. Um, get a blacksmith. Do a lot of things. That would be useful in the long run. So we'll look to do that at some point. Um, what do we want to do here? I'm going to do that. We need to take burn. It needs to happen. Okay, we can up the tax right here a little bit. That is not great. Um, we are going to need a church. That's quite a bit of money spent. Faction announcements. Look at that. That's great news. Good. And next turn, we'll be able to get Leon and then a few more until Bordeaux. Again, I'm, I've got no problem with Bordeaux taking a bit of time. An honor, senor. An honor, my lord. How may I help you? Oh, well, you have another proposal. Let's then. get a bit of coin. Oh, still generous. How about 700? Yeah. On behalf of my people, your time was most valuable. I thank you. You're welcome. Très bien, senor. Uh, we'll sort out North. I'm sure Norway will come to us. That's fine. For right. Unfortunately, you can't marry the Pope. I am ready to approach. What is it you would discuss with me? I see no. Ah, there is something else. Uh, we're going to give you our map information of course. and Another alliance. We shall listen. We're not even going to go for anything in return. You this was a good day for our peoples. And now the Pope loves us. Look at that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. There's nothing that we actually want to declare a crusade on at the moment. And we're busy at home, so we'll leave that be. Um, next stop is Naples. Très bien. On behalf of France. Oh, we'll have to do that next time. Not somewhere. Softly, Seigneur. Discreetly. Uh, 70%. Okay, let's gamble. Oh, for fuck's sake. You twat. <sighs> Idiot. Right, let's sort out these settlements. Um, oh, that is a lot of religious unrest. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. And just unrest in general. A little bit of religious unrest. Up the tax rate and mm, town watch. Okay. Now, three ships, is that enough? Could probably do with another. Just in case. I mean, we don't want to go to all this trouble for them to just be attacked by pirates and never make it to the east. 
we'll put in one more ship and then we'll send them on our on their way and we'll end the turn there so hopefully by the end of this episode we'll be able to have leon as well so we'll taken four settlements in the first episode which i reckon is pretty good going ah spain what up guys greetings noble lord um, there is something to discuss with you okay fine balance it seems we have reached an agreement another suggestion from you uh, sure okay nice I see no now do we here. want we agree then do we want an alliance with Spain? It could be useful for the moment, just so there's no threats to the south. Um, they're also a very Catholic faction. Um, it could be useful to have an alliance with them just while we focus our attentions on the English and the Holy Roman Empire in Milan. Yeah, let's Another go for an alliance. We shall listen, oh, wow. Of course. Can we have something? Like a settlement? Nope. Um, okay, not a million miles away though. Hmm. What about if I add that in as well? Marry our faction heir to the princess and we get Santiago de Compostela. No idea what that is, but let's give that a let's give that a bash. No. I don't see how this can work. Hmm. Uh, not that, but let's go for like 200 for six turns. Please. Do not 600 ask for four. Not accept. How about th th 300 for f 5? That I could agree to. We cannot quite accept Oh, this. that's just close. Um, fuck it. Yeah, let's go for it. Glad to agree on Farewell, my lord. Oh, okay. We got something right at the shit end of Spain. Oh, well. Never mind. It's something, in it. Ah, the Irish. Oh, you're just trying to bribe me. Okay, here we go. Leon. Now, again, this should be... We've got two units of spearmen sergeants, two units of peasant archers, and a general. So our spearmen win... They do have archer militia, which I think are better, but yeah, this we'll have this. Stand on our Take up arms and march Let's do it. I am the king of Rome and above grammar. Oh, I can barely see shit. Okay. Get into line. Archers there. They didn't have any cavalry, did they? No. Let's move these units forward. I just don't want to charge my cavalry straight into spearmen. I feel like that would not be ideal. That really would be living up to my name of general incompetence. Okay, that's better. Spearman on spearman action, and then we'll whip the cavalry round and charge into their archers. Alright, fellas. Showtime. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Ceasefire with our archers. Lance is down. Bosh. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. And Goba now in behind them. We'll clean up these archers, get loads of experience. And then we can kill everyone. The enemy general lies dead. Good. We have Sendaker to hell. Good, they're routing. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. We're gonna kill them all. That's what we're gonna do. All of them are gonna die, and this general is gonna get a shit ton of experience. Oh yeah. Come on, munch him up. Um, this way. That's better. Come on, you're French nobility. I shouldn't have to tell you how to kill peasants. The peasants are revolting. There we go. All of Christendom will be all two units of uh, two chevrons of experience for our general. Good stuff. Bosh. That's a lot of prisoners caught. Um, casualties healed some. Only a couple. Peasant archers did all right. No complaints. That's what four settlements taken in the first Seigneur, episode. We have claimed this day. Occupy. Praise the Oriflam. France uh, is victorious. Oh. I mean, that's a little bit tempting, but mm, no. Constance can do better. Mission success. That's five thousand gold. Strongest faction. Ah. Etienne has now got Monk. Good. Sure, communal farming. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then we'll upgrade. Oh, should we just upgrade it now? Because it does take three. Yeah, let's upgrade it now. I think we just need to, again, we've just gotten a load of cash, so let's spend it wisely on upgrades. And Dijon. Um, let's put in a priest, because we're going to need one. And, yep, upgrade. Increase the tax. Ready and able. Monsieur Bowl cut. Oui. In you go. No glory in setting an ambush. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's Ready send you guys on your way. Set sail. Doesn't look like it'll take that long, which is good. How are we doing here? Three more turns until we have Bordeaux. With very minimal losses. We're starting to get our first decent troops as well. Let's just sort Leon. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get a church. Nice, nice, nice. How are we doing for time? I think that is going to bring us pretty much to the conclusion of this first episode, I reckon. Um, somewhere around here, there should be... There we go. Is there something I can do for you? You have uh, another proposal then? And we'll have a bit of gold from you as well. Nice. We shall. Goodbye. We look forward to our next meeting. Okay. That's actually quite useful to have that map info. Um, let's head down towards we Hungary, I think. And what else can we do? We can speak to Naples. Some Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? This. You have further proposals? And we sell our map info. Generous, okay. Let's go for a bit more. Still generous. Yeah, I just don't want to 
I don't want her to fail. I want to make sure she gets as high a charm as possible. Go on. It yes. We have reached an agreement. Goodbye. It has been a okay. pleasure. It just means that we've got a better chance of managing to steal a decent general from someone. Très bien. On behalf of France. Okay. Coffers are looking good. We've got some a diplomat and actually a pretty decent merchant going over to the Holy Land. Uh, Bordeaux is under siege. We have taken four settlements. France is looking much stabler. Ready and able. Burn is next. Setting a vigilant watch here. We want to get oui. to Burn, and we're going to need troops. So actually, we're going to put in that. Annoyingly, it's going to be difficult to get these guys anywhere without a general. Um, hmm. That's nice. That's a good start. And Mets can't actually recruit anything decent yet. Because, yeah, Burn is absolutely our next target. We also need a new spy, um, which I don't think we can get anywhere for the moment. Which is a bit frustrating, but there we go. So, that is where we're going to leave it for the time being. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you had, please smash that like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Ready for episode two. Until the next one. Bye for now.